Where have you been? Or something important came up. More important than these papers that he wants me to sign? Carly found her father. Yeah, so what's the problem? He's a federal prosecutor. Right. He's after Sonny, then, right? Now he wants to get to know Carly better, so he's laying on this phony sincerity. Okay, but what if she accidentally minute, gives something away, well, Jason? Well, then this guy could wreck us all. What if Carly's right? What if her father really does want to get to know? Durant doesn't think that way, Sam. You don't even know the guy, I know Sam. enough. Listen, people who don't know Sonny probably jump to conclusions about him, too, because he can come off scary and ruthless and selfish sometimes, and it drives me crazy the way he wants to control me and the baby, but I don't think he would ever intentionally hurt his okay. child. First of all, Sonny would die for his kids. That's not how Durant's thinking right He's now. He's a father, too. My daughter has a right to know Sonny and make up her own mind whether or not she likes him or not. Shouldn't Carly have the yeah, same chance? Yeah, but Carly thinks Durant is looking at her and seeing the baby he never got to hold. Maybe he is, Sam, Jason. he's looking at her as a mark to work for all she's worth. And to a guy like Durant, she's worth a hell of a lot. I have to, I gotta go out. Well, I'm not gonna ask where you're headed or when you'll be back, but... I do have one question for you. What? Why do you put your life on the line for Sonny every day when he takes you for granted and treats you like dirt? That wasn't who I am now. You know, I was... I was nothing. Except the Quartermain's terrible loss. And none of them except... You know, my grandmother and Emily treated me like a person. I sure didn't feel like a person. But Sonny gave me a chance. Jason, I get that. But it doesn't mean he can treat you like his own personal punching bag. He should respect he you. He does. You do. Sonny supported me the way a father supports his son. Yeah, you know what? He can be unfair sometimes, but he is loyal to a fault and he always protects the people he loves. Listen, Sam, you know, Sonny may struggle with his decisions, but eventually he will make the right choice for your daughter. You know what's funny? You just described the perfect father. And it's not Sunny. It's you. Hi, doctor. I'm looking for a friend who was here tonight. He was visiting Morgan Corinthos. Okay, I'm Morgan's doctor. You are? I'm Stephen Hi, Weber. Sam McCall. How's nice, he doing? Nice to meet you. Um, we must have just missed the family. Morgan's been discharged and his parents took him home. Oh, okay. That's that's really great. Um, maybe maybe my friend was with him though. Jason Morgan. He's got blue eyes. Yeah, I haven't seen breath. him in a couple hours. Thanks. Sam. Sam, you okay? Yeah. I wasn't here about me. I was I was actually just checking on Morgan. Oh, they sent him home. I just saw Bobby. She was relieved. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go. Uh, I, Jason should be on his way home. And he well, actually, Jason's at the um. He's at the loft with Courtney. I think they might be getting back together. Maybe Jason went to Courtney's to tell her the good news about Morgan. She wasn't exactly dressed for visitors. <laughs> well, it's it's late. She was probably getting ready to go to bed. Well, Michael was there, and he said that he Michael, saw Jason oh. and Courtney kissing. Kissing. Michael yeah. exaggerates a lot to get what he wants, Jax. Look, Courtney and I had a we had a misunderstanding, and it's obvious that she went running back to Jason. No, it's obvious that you're disappointed in her. I can tell you like her a lot. No, I'm sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have brought this up. If there's anything I can do, you know, no, just let me know. It's, it's quite all right. You're not responsible for me, Jax. Besides, I'm a survivor, remember? Well, you've proven that over and over again. I have, haven't I? Yes, you have. Okay, see you around then, okay? Okay. All right. Why uh, are you sitting alone in the dark? I'm just trying to figure out where to go next. How soon do you want me to move out? Why would I want you to move out? <clears throat> I went to the hospital to check on Morgan. Okay. Okay, and, and Sonny and Carly and Morgan were already gone, but Jax was there, and he told me. 
asked about you and Courtney, how you, how you guys got back together. <laughs> and you, you believe Jax? And what, what is he doing? You're eight months pregnant, in the middle of the night. He has no right to get you upset. I am not upset. Okay, maybe I was a little upset sitting here alone in the dark thinking you were going to come home and kick me out, but you're not, so that's fine. I'm over it. Thank you. Well, just, you know, just get some sleep. Okay. Jason, I was, I was wondering. What? I don't want you to feel obligated to have me here. And if it's none of my business, you can just say so, but... Okay, just go ahead. What? <clears throat> Well, Jax said that Michael saw you and Courtney kissing. Lied and said Courtney and I were kissing. I know, I figured that, but... So Michael wants you and Courtney together and Jax to go away. Well, he, he kind of hands it to the kid. He knows what he wants and he will do just about anything to get it. Yeah, and that's exactly why he was at Courtney's. In the first place, he's trying to blackmail Carly into staying away from Duran. Listen, I was thinking about what you were saying, and maybe that's not such a bad idea. The guy is a fed. Doesn't Carly see how dangerous he is to Sonny? That's not how she's thinking. Well, right what now. does she expect well, to happen she, realistically? Well, she, she wants to have a relationship with her father. See, for once, Sam, you're on the outside, so you're, you're seeing it a little more clearly no, than Carly. No, no, okay. Is. Yes, I am. And here is what I see. Durant is a threat to me, too, because if Sonny falls, so will you. I'm so sorry. I know that must have sounded incredibly selfish. No, no, no it's okay. I, no, I understand. Jason, it is not okay. I don't like being dependent on anyone. And if you had gotten back together with Courtney... I didn't know where I was going to go. Maybe I am overreacting because of my hormones right now. I just, I want my daughter to have a stable home. You... You can stay here for as long as you want. It's really hard to trust. I've never had a home before, Jason. Look, why don't you, uh, don't you go to bed before you fall asleep on the couch again? Uh. You're going out? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta work. But it's about Durant, isn't it? Jason, why can't Carly see how much she's risking by even talking to the guy?